Both campaigns will stay busy all weekend targeting states that are key to winning the White House. And with a new spike in COVID-19 cases, the pandemic is a prime topic for both candidates, as Vice President Mike Pence's chief of staff, Mark Short, has now tested positive. CBS 4's Michael George has the latest from New York. President Trump and Joe Biden are holding rallies this weekend in battleground states that could decide the November 3rd election. For the last half century, Joe Biden has been outsourcing your jobs, opening your borders, and sacrificing American blood and treasure in these endless, ridiculous foreign wars. The president traveled to North Carolina, Ohio, and Wisconsin on Saturday. Former Vice President Biden campaigned in his native Pennsylvania, where he continued to go after the president for his pandemic response. In our debate on Thursday night, Trump was still saying, we're rounding the corner. It's going away. We're learning to live with it. As I told him, we're not learning to live it. We're learning to die with it. Because he's doing nothing. Did I vote? Did I vote voted straight Laura? Republican. Okay. Thank you. President Trump cast his ballot Saturday morning at a library in West Palm Beach, Florida, near his Mar-a-Lago estate. Across the nation, many early voters are standing in long lines, including New York City. All these are people that are out here that want to make sure their vote counts. We the people, by the people, and for the people, we elect the government. So far, 53 million Americans have cast early ballots, shattering records. Michael George, CBS News, New York. The Senate continues meeting for a rare session this weekend. They're debating the nomination of Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court. Democrats argue the nomination should not happen, similar to President Obama's pick during his final year of office. But Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says his party is following precedent. There is no inconsistency between the Republican Senate's decision in 2016 and our decision to confirm Judge Barrett. This year. Who would believe that? The contradiction is glaring. The Senate will hold a vote today to break a Democratic filibuster. That means Democrats are unable to block a final vote, which is expected to happen tomorrow.